morning, everyone. It is day 40 of self-isolation, April the 15th. Um, I do have some lessons learned that I'd like to share from yesterday. I made the mistake of not getting up. I lounged in my bathrobe, and um, that was a mistake. I've learned that I do need structure. Uh, we did spend some time, me and the boys and Brat Cat, in the laundry room because we had several tornadoes go through. And I have dressed today. I won't go into detail of my outfit, but... I think you might like it. Today I did have an encounter with a human. I just wanted to show you out in the backyard. We had a crew come through, heavy equipment. They had to clear the swamp because there are Florida power and light electrical lines out there. And I did talk to one of the humans and I think he might have thought I was a little bit cray, um, but I was safe. He was on one side of the creek and I was on the other at a safe distance. So now we're gonna transition over to the tribute that I would like to do today. <laughs> I hope everyone can see that. Today, I'm doing a tribute to my father. But before we do that, I would like to talk about the biblical significance of the number 40. Uh, as you can see, I've outlined some significant items, but we're going to focus on number 6, which says God destroyed every living thing on earth by flooding it for 40 days. So I think we're very lucky that we're just safely inside for 40 days. It could be much worse. So as I mentioned, today is, would have been my dad's 90th birthday. Paul Frederick Fitzstevens was born on April 30th, 1930, and he was a depression baby. And here's a picture of his mom, my grandmother, Hazel Marker Good, and his grandparents. They actually raised him. That's Charles and Etta Good. And that is a whole other story there. Um, Paul's early years, uh, grew, he grew up in Miami, Florida in the 1930s. And here's a picture of Paul with his puppy. And here's another picture of Paul as a little boy with his cousin Dorothy. And here are some of Dad's family pictures. There's Dad and his sister Ada. And then here's Dad with his mom and his stepdad. And again, his sister Ada. On September the 1st, 1950, it was a very happy day. That was the day that Paul married Arizona Elizabeth Pell, my mother. Paul had a very successful Air Force career. He served during the Korean War. And there's a picture of my dad in his Air Force uniform. Here's a picture of him. Uh, he was able to go on a T-33 jet ride around New York because he was honored as Airman of the Month at the time. And then here is me and mom and dad at Fort Dix where I was born. I was an army. I was born in an army hospital. And dad also had a very successful career with Pan Am and Eastern Airlines. And here's a picture of dad um, in the instrument shop in Miami. He calibrated aircraft avionics such as altimeters, gyros, and flight recorders. And here's a picture of the Fitzstevens family, past and present. There is a church directory picture. I was very awkward. I was in junior high. There's my cute sister, Cindy, and mom with her beehive, and tall Paul. Paul was six foot four. And then here's a picture in 2014 when I moved to Florida to help care for mom and dad. And here is a picture of Paul with his granddaughters in the early 1990s. I love that picture with Amy and Kaylee. And then here's a picture um, at the VA with Dad in 2015. Dad had a very special ceremony honoring vets that served during the Korean War. And the Florida governor, uh, Governor Scott, attended and gave out awards. And here's a picture of Dad on television being honored by the governor, getting his medal. Uh, some more pictures with Dad and the Governor. So that Dad was just delighted that day. It was a very happy day for Dad. Uh, Dad dearly loved my mom. They were married for 65 years, and there's a really sweet picture of Mom and Dad. And in closing, I'd just like to say happy 90th birthday to my Dad in Heaven. He was an awesome father. He was absolutely the best. And I just wanted to say goodbye to you all, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Love you. Bye.